Hi, my name is Elaine Britt, and in this video, we're going to help you navigate managing your participants in the Brethren Insurance Services new enrollment system. So let's get started. As you may remember, we have two systems that you should have access to, both production, which is real-time live data, and then test data. So remember that if you're not comfortable jumping right into live, you can play in test until you are comfortable with the system and can then do it in live. Um, also remember changes you make in test are not kept in live. So if you do make a change, you would also need to make it in the actual live system. So let's get in and see how you can manage your participants. You might remember our friend, Harold Angelo. Harold um, has information here on the participant tab that you can edit and review, but there's more you can do here in HR tools. So it could be that Harold um, ha has left employment or is leaving employment at the end of the week and you need to actually terminate him in the system. So here you can see there is under work event process, terminate, you can stay, um, there's several different ways in, in this case, hopefully he didn't pass away. It is just a termination and he um, might be terminating on, at the end of the month. So you can just terminate him and it will say termination successful. We can then go look under the participant screen and you can see he is now inactive and his date of term is populated. Also his benefits will also show the end date. So all of that was processed with the termination. Now Harold, Harold's supervisor calls and says, oh my gosh, we can't believe it. Harold agreed to stay. So great news. Um, we need to rehire Harold. So there is a rehire process. Um, in this case, he is eligible 11-1 um, because he termed on 10-31. Um, it is important that you add his salary here. If you leave it as zero, it, it will actually show a zero in the system, which is not going to be accurate. So. Um, he was rehired at the same salary. I, I don't know if this was the same. I'm making it up here. Again, this is demo data. So we are rehiring him. And now you can see he is active and there is no date of term and it shows um, his, his rehire. Um, it also shows his salary history. Oops, Harold, I'm sorry, you got a pay cut. So uh, that is how you can hire and rehire and terminate a person, but let us now create a new participant. So you guys have just hired someone. Um, it should only show in your case, Brethren, Church of Brethren Benefit Trust here. Um, if you have different classes of employees like full-time versus part-time that are offered different benefits, you will need to select the appropriate class here. If everybody in your organization has the same benefits, you will only find one option there. So just select the appropriate one as far as the class name. Class is what drives the benefits that are available to that individual. In this case, there are no subclasses, so that is easy. Um, socials are required, so be sure to um, add that in there and as it says, no dashes. So making that up, I'm um, going to turn that off. Um, and so here we're going to be entering the individual's information. So Sally Smith 
is the new employee name, if she has a middle name here, um, and then gender, male, female, unknown. Unknown may also may be somebody who does not identify as male or female, that is fine. Um, if you know their marital status, please add that. Date of birth is required. Um, you obviously don't need to know the minute they were born, but the, <laughs> the general day would be appreciated. So we add the date of birth and the address is also required. And so you will need to put that in here. And um, Sally lives in uh, St. Louis. And um, we would really appreciate any um, email address or phone or cell phone numbers that you can provide for participants as well. This helps not only us and the call center team stay in contact with your participants as they reach out, but also the carriers. So if they have, um, for example, life insurance and pass away. If we have a phone number, we might be able to reach someone else in the household and be able to contact them. If you can provide cell phone number, it will also help the um, system. It will allow you to reset your password. It can text you your user ID. So we're not going to spam you or your participants with um, texts. What this is, is if you think about like you forgot your username or your password, we can use your cell phone to um, help you reset those. So employee ID is not required, but if you have one, you can enter it. Date of hire is required. So Sally was hired 10, 15. And the eligibility start date, that is going to be when a person's benefits would begin. And so Sally's benefits begin day one. Um, and really the only other information that is required is her salary um, because of benefits like life insurance that may be calculated off of the annual salary. So any other information you can provide, it is not required. Um, but it is out here should you need to do it. Um, a lot of these process levels, you can just ignore. So we're going to create Sally. Everything looks good here. So let's create her. And it says, are you sure? So yes. So now Sally Smith is created. You can see because she's a new hire, she has an open enrollment event. You could access the site and enroll for her, um, but she is created. Um, what I would do is send her to the participant website that we discussed and encourage her to enroll online or have her call the Brethren Insurance Service Center and they can also assist her. So in HR tools, there are a lot of other things you can do. You can um, register someone, you can reset their password, um, you can create a life event. Um, we talked about some of these others. Um, you can access the enrollment site, um, but this was a good high level overview. As we get further into the system and you start to use it more, we can talk a little bit more around these other tools and eventually the reports you can run. Um, as we mentioned every, as we mentioned earlier, everything here is real time. So once you create Sally, she can go right in the system and enroll from there. So again, thank you for your patience and your willingness to help us make this successful. Again, I'm Elaine Britt. Here's my contact information. We appreciate you listening and thank you for joining us.